Yo, yo, I just want to make this video right quick concerning the uh, black Hebrew Israelites. I don't know a lot about them. I haven't had a, uh, I've been having a few uh, discussions with some on Facebook. But I, like I said, I don't know a lot about them, but I know they really emphasize the, uh, what color Jesus was. And they say that he was black. And they, you know, try to uh, provide all type, you know, different scriptures to support their claim. But it's really insignificant what color Jesus was. I don't care if he was black, white, whatever. You know, it's his blood that washed away my sin. So, um, and yes, he, he, he died on the cross, physically died. But the color of his skin is really of no importance. But uh, like I said, the black Hebrew Israelites um, place great significance on what color he was because they feel like uh, the black man is the true uh, Hebrew Israelites uh, spoken about in the Bible. And that we've been, you know, because of uh, because of uh, some the oppression of white people uh, towards black people in this country that. They trying to rob us of our uh, true heritage that comes from uh, the Bible, which is total nonsense. And um, the the Bible clearly stresses the spirit, the spirit of God. Uh, it, it stresses us worshiping God in spirit and in truth. But... Uh, I just want to read Philippians uh, 3, starting at verse 1. And this is the Apostle Paul talking. And this, to me, blows all of the arguments out of the water concerning, you know, this being descendants from a, a tribe of Israel and the importance of the, the, the color of the skin, the flesh. It's just nonsensical. But... It reads, finally, uh, this chapter is uh, Philippians chapter three, start verse one. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh if any other man thinketh that he will thinketh that he have whereof he might trust in the flesh I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law of Pharisee concerning zeal persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless but what things were gained to me those I counted lost for Christ Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Now, this is the Apostle Paul, okay? He can accurately trace his lineage all the way back to Benjamin, one of the uh, 12 patriarchs. Uh, he was a Pharisee, you know, the the legalist of the law. They, they man, they was the, the people who kept, supposedly kept the law very strictly. He was a Hebrew. He said he was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. But guess what he said about all that? He said, I count it but lost. And I count it as dung. I count it as rubbish. Those things of the flesh. You know, he, Paul said he was circumcised the eighth day. And we know that God gave uh, Abraham that commandment to all of his people that the male should be circumcised the eighth day. So Paul was actually circumcised the eighth day. And but he said we are of the, of those who we are of the circumcision who worship, worship God in the spirit. So I don't understand why are they trying to claim these fleshly 
uh, positions. You know, oh, I'm I'm from Judah. That's their favorite one. So seemed like so far. I'm from the tribe of Ju uh, Judah. I'm from this tribe. Paul said, I counted that as lost. I counted as dung. So if the apostle Paul, the one who the Lord ap appeared to, the one whom the Lord revealed himself to personally on the road to Damascus, if the apostle Paul who raised people from the dead, you know, if this apostle saying, I count all those things as lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. Why are people today trying to grab a hold of those things? Why are they saying that we have to try and keep the law when Paul clearly says that we all have seen the fall short of God's glory? And he says, concerning the law, I was a Pharisee, but he count that as a loss too, to gain Christ. So that's just my quick video this is my quick rant, I guess. On the black Hebrew Israelites, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The scripture is clear. The apostle Paul is clear. Those things ain't going to help you not one bit as far as salvation concern is concerned. You know, we are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. All things, behold, all things have become new. And so we have a great inheritance as believers in Christ Jesus. You know, we have become the sons of God by believing in Christ Jesus. We have uh, become a royal nation, a holy priesthood. So we should, the Bible says we should seek after those things which are above what Christ Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. Don't be trying to claim something that's not yours anyhow. It's ridiculous. Peace.